Hey folks, this is Dr. Burke Mays, Pathways Integrative Health. Today we're on part number five of our 22 to 24 part series on the 24 reasons of why we develop poor thyroid function and poor health. Today's topic is low thyroid due to thyroid peroxidase TPO autoimmune response. Translation, your immune system has freaked out, become out of balance and is attacking part of your thyroid metabolism and thyroid health. You know, first off, this is one of the number one reasons why people have poor thyroid health. When people come in, they're frustrated because they've gone to the conventional model where they only test for a couple of things and they don't look at an antibody activity. So just part of the boat's being missing. And of course, in literature, they say that, poor th that autoimmunity is the underlying cause or background cause of 90% of poor thyroid health and poor thyroid function. And the conventional model just doesn't look at this, unfortunately. So when we have what we have in our, we have in our system, we have two enzymes. One's called TPO, and that is so one's called TBG, and that's a transport molecule, which talk about in a different different a different video. Today we're talking about TPO, which is the enzyme in the thyroid gland that's responsible for the formation of your thyroid hormone, your T3 and T4. And when your immune system starts to attack it, it a positive TPO antibody suggests Hashimoto's disease or a Hashimoto's thyroid dysfunction. Um, a little bit, you know, in the background, there is a Japanese surgeon named Hashimoto that he observed a collection of symptoms, combined the certain tests of lab findings, and called it Hashimoto's autoimmune thyroiditis, where the immune system is attacking the thyroid gland, in particular TPO, TPO uh, enzyme. So when you have antibodies, it suggests that condition is present. Now keep in mind in the conventional model, you know, the, the conventional model waits until your lab values get to a certain value, which indicate a significant degree of tissue damage. You know, the reality is there's a difference between perfect ideal health, and there, there's a spectrum from perfect ideal health to when you actually are diagnosed with the disease. So you can still have poor health, poor function, poor activity, still not feel good, but not be labeled with the label of Hashimoto. So just kind of keep that in mind. But this is an autoimmune condition. Now, the bad news is you can't medicate your way out of an autoimmune condition and there's no real actual curing an autoimmune condition. It's always going to be there. But the reality is in an integrative approach that we'll talk about in a minute, it can be significantly calmed down and put into remission so that you're not having issues with it. But how do we find it is it needs proper testing. The big one is you check for the antibodies. Are they present and are they elevated above normal levels? Um, in the conventional model, as I mentioned before, they look at T4, maybe, uh, T3, maybe T4, and they base their model and their care on that. You know, if you, if you watch some of my other videos, there's a lot of other areas where the thyroid can go into poor function. So you could have perfect T3, you could have perfect T4, but other areas aren't working. So in the conventional model, I'm sorry, in the, in the integrated model, we ask why a lot. Why is it happening? You know, we need to know why, what's the background problem, then we can actually start to do something to help. Because there are thousands of different ways, of a thousand different causes for autoimmunity and poor thyroid health. Um, integrated approach, we want to identify and remove all the triggers we're going to talk about here in a moment. And we want to balance and strengthen the immune system. It's a whole body approach looking, asking why, and then trying to address that why to improve that, that level of health. Common autoimmune can, uh, triggers, an inflammatory diet. Listen, the American diet is highly anti, highly inflammatory. It's, you know, we got the bad fats, we got the highly processed foods, we've got just things that aren't good for us that create inflammation. If you start looking at literature, systemic inflammation is the underlying cause in just about any health condition we're, we're talking about these days. Uh, blood sugar problems. If blood sugar, if insulin goes up or cortisol goes up, all parts of blood sugar regulation, those are very inflammatory hormones, which will increase infl the inflammatory response in the body. When inflammation is being poorly managed, it throws off the immune system, and the immune system starts to start to work poorly. Uh, food sensitivities. Listen, our food is not what it was 100 years ago. That's just the reality. It doesn't have the nutrients we expect in it, and some of this, through hybridization and some GMO, we're getting exposed to foreign proteins that our body has to recognize and deal with. And right now it deals them as being foreign, foreign molecules. Leaky gut syndrome. Leaky gut syndrome is just kind of imagine this. Imagine you've got screens on your house and they're nice tight screens, keeps all the bad stuff out. 
Now imagine somebody comes by and throws rocks at your screens and you have holes in them. Now all the bugs, birds, and everything else can get in your house and create problems. That's leaky gut. And leaky gut's caused by inflammation, blood sugar issues, food sensitivities, infections, a whole host of stuff. So it really, really is, uh, starts to weave together into one big web. You know, the key is figure out where in the web to interact with. Uh, chronic infections, that can be viral infections, it can be gut infections, it can be parasites. It can be, we call, you know, it used to be called just limes. Now in the Midwest, we're changing, actually nationwide, we're calling it instead of Lyme, it's tick-borne illnesses because they, there's a lot of, lot of different uh, disease, uh, um, infections combined with that. Um, adrenal dysfunction uh, is going to create stress on the uh, cortisol levels. It's going to affect inflammation. Um, hormone imbalances, that's when estrogen, progesterone, testosterone are out of balance. That creates an inflammatory environment and also helps take the, the immune system um, into poor function and dot, dot, dot. It can be lots of different things. Nutritional deficiencies. Common ones are if vitamin D is low, we see that a lot. Um, the medical standard for vitamin D is about is above 30. Really, in ideal health, it should be 50, uh, 50 to 90 is a good safe sweet spot. I've seen people as low as five and 10, um, and they're you know some pretty sick folk. Also, uh, vitamin if vitamin A is low, we have uh, poor levels of essential fatty acids, poor level low levels of glutathione, which is a molecule made in our body for, and needs good good B vitamin activity and good nutrient nutrient absorption. If all those are low, it's going to cause an immune system to dysregulate and start to attack whatever is it starts starts to attack things that it shouldn't. So, I, um, and as an aside, keep in mind what we see also in literature is that a large percentage of people with TPO antibodies. Are also have where the markers where the immune system is attacking the cerebellum. They're getting brain-based antibodies, um, and that is so. When the immune system is attacking the brain, that can be the background reason for things like vertigo and balance issues, as well as chronic neck and back pain, and headaches and migraine headaches. Um, so, once again, the response we say we can't cure autoimmunity, but with good protocols, addressing those things we find is why through good thorough testing. We can calm things down, bring, bring things into remission so people can enjoy a healthier, healthier life. I hope this gives you something to think about. Thanks for watching. As always, I offer a courtesy 30-minute consultation to see if we're a match for each other. If you think I can help you, if I can think I can help you, then we decide where we can go forwards from that. Thanks for watching and over and out.